Hi, welcome to Chinese. Just kidding, welcome back to youtube.com. My name is Mariel and today I'm going to be showing you some fall essentials and how I style them. And if you've ever shopped online at Zara, you know that the models have some very interesting poses. And today throughout my lookbook, I will be recreating some of those poses for no other reason than I felt like it. So don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and all that and let's get started. So first I'm going to talk about 5 of my essential clothing items that I see myself wearing in multiple outfits this fall. Of course other people might have different pieces that they consider essential, it all really just depends on your style. First I have a black turtleneck. I love turtlenecks in general and I find I can especially style a black or a neutral color turtleneck many different ways. The next essential is an ankle boot with a small heel. I think an ankle boot is essential and extremely versatile for fall fashion. I'm currently loving lace-up boots so much that I now have two pairs, one in black and one in a cream color. I especially love having a small heel, no bigger than around 2 inches, because it gives my tiny 5 foot frame a little boost but it's still super comfortable to walk in. Next is a midi skirt or dress. I love midi skirts and dresses because they are super comfortable and breathable but you can still layer some tights and leggings underneath to stay warm. So these are definitely on my list of fall essentials. Another essential for me is a white or off-white sweater. I have a few of these in different styles because I think they are so easy to match with other pieces and to come up with outfits for. And finally, I really like having jeans with a roomier shape such as straight leg jeans or wide leg jeans. Again, so I can layer leggings or tights underneath if needed. Those are my main essentials for the fall, so now let's see how I style them. First, I have a simple layered outfit where I'm pairing a black turtleneck with some black wide leg pants and my black lace-up boots that I know I wear in almost every video. And then I took this polka dot top which I kind of regret buying because I got it at full price and then it went on sale later on and it doesn't even look that flattering on me. But I'm going to make it work anyways because I'm going to get my $40 worth. So I'm taking this polka dot button up top and layering that over the turtleneck and I think it looks really cute tied in a knot. Next, I'm cheating and taking this look from my previous video, link in the upper right hand corner if you haven't seen it yet, and I'm layering this plum dress with a ruffle hem over a black turtleneck and pairing it with my black lace up boots. And to accessorize, I wore a black scrunchie headband, which you can barely see with my black hair, but it's there. And also this mini tote purse. Next I have this kind of dark slash light academia slash K fashion look and so I'm wearing this oversized white button up shirt and jeans and layered this light beige sweater vest over it. Sweater vests have been getting super trendy lately and I've really been loving the look. I feel like little Cody Martin from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Next, I started with this white belted sweater and some straight leg jeans and I also wore this outfit in another video but I wore it with black boots but now I have these cream colored boots which I feel like goes better with this off white sweater. For this look, I'm pairing a black turtleneck with this black floral midi skirt and a belt over the skirt. And previously I've worn this look with my block heeled lace of boots, you know the ones. But I wanted to edge it up a little so instead I'm wearing these platform combat boots because apparently spicing things up for me just means slapping on some combat boots or wearing lingerie as a top. So this is a pretty simple and achievable look. Here I'm just wearing a turtleneck and jeans and of course my black lace-up boots that I'm addicted to. And to match the boots, I just tossed on this black Baker Boy cap. For 
For this look, I wanted to play around with some patterns, so I have on these brown patterned pants. And I wore that with my lace-up boots again and my black turtleneck again. And then for a second pattern, I threw on this plaid blazer or sport coat since I just learned there's a difference between those two. And to tie in all the black pieces together, I cinched in my waist with a black belt over the sport coat. Next, I started with a cream turtleneck and layered over it my favorite 70s-ish overalls and matched the turtleneck with my cream lace-up boots. And if it's particularly chilly, I'll throw on my suede jacket. Then for another 70s-esque look, I'm wearing, well, basically the same exact outfit but swapping out the overalls for wide leg jeans. And to me, the wide leg jeans in a dark wash looks a little bit more grown up and less casual than the overalls. Finally, I'm wearing my cream turtleneck and tucked it into these black flared pants with pearl detailing on the side. And these pants were such a steal, they were like $20 on Depop and usually go for like $1.15 I think. Every time I wear these, I just have to mention that. It's like when people compliment your dress and you just have to say, thanks it has pockets. And finally, I just finished off the look with my cream colored boots again. for watching i hope this video gave you some inspiration for some outfits as the weather gets cooler and comment down below which outfits you liked and what videos you want to see in the future and i will see you guys in the next one